New at six, when it comes to innovation, Silicon Valley usually gets all the credit. But up north, Napa Valley is making big moves in the way they grow grapes and make wine. Our Emily Turner joins us live from Napa on what this means for the industry. Emily? Yeah, as the demand for wine, Liz, grows and the labor market gets even tighter, there are fewer and fewer human hands that actually touch the vines and the wine. Old world meet new world. This harvester not only uses half the manpower to pick grapes, it's also faster with quality control. On his computer screen, he can sort and what goes out and what stays in, what goes into this tank versus that tank. Almost half of the valley's vineyards are harvested automatically this way, the Grape Growers Association says, and more will be joining their ranks as they replant, especially as the labor pool shrinks and the demand for wine grows. There's so many acres that are planted and need to be harvested at the same time that I think even with 30 crews, we just can't get it done. Wineries like Alpha Omega are going high tech too. This machine automatically sorts the fruit using pre programmed parameters. It, combined with this optical sorter, do the job of 28 people and do it more consistently, the winemaker says. After a couple of hours, a human that is watching a moving conveyor belt gets tired. And so their performances are not as good as within the, the first hour or so. The machines cost about half a million dollars total, so it doesn't take long for them to break even by saving on labor. But all this shiny metal doesn't spell the end of human employees. Both Renteria Vineyard Management and Alpha Omega say automation allows them to fill gaps in labor shortages and meet the ever-increasing demand of Napa Valley wine. You can have machines to help you, you know, to progress, to, to better, to be more precise, but you'll never replace the soul of the wine. And in both the instance of automatic harvest as well as automatic sorting, winemakers in a blind taste test weren't able to taste the difference at all. It's pretty amazing what technology can do. Reporting live in Napa, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.